A new training scheme promises up to upgrade medical care for dysphagia in Taiwan. Dysphagia, the medical term for swallowing difficulties, affects 8% of older adults in Taiwan. Now, a one-stop training scheme will support medical professionals to specialize in the condition all the way through their education and into working life. Led by Kaohsiung Medical University, the scheme will incorporate 12 colleges all across the country. Officials hope that it will lead to higher standards of treatment and enable Taiwan's doctors to team up with colleagues abroad. A golden dragon dances through the audience, led by the principal of Kaohsiung Medical University, to symbolize a new one-stop training scheme for the dysphagia industry, a scheme as long and well-coordinated as a dragon. The doctors involved in the dragon dance even leaked this private rehearsal video. Normally, during work hours, they'd be in an operating theater. But here, they're working to get the rhythmic swing of the dragon scales on point. We want to cultivate the teachers and students from the 12 participating schools and bring together all the talent in the industry. We want to enter from various angles, from people first coming in, from education giving them skills, to them developing products in the future, and then in the end finding employment. The whole thing is one stop. The one-stop training scheme has a subsidy of 70 million NT from the Ministry of Education. Dysphagia affects more and more older people in Taiwan as the proportion of aged citizens grows. It can lead to chronic illness and repeated infections and can even cause septic shock. The team hopes to slow down dementia for potential patients and prevent the many issues associated with dysphagia. <laughs> Our scheme includes many innovative facilities, such as an observation room, the only one in the country, as well as an authentic functioning kitchen. We have an AR and VR classroom and a classroom for authenticating computer big data databases. With the establishment of centers like this, in the future we can find solutions for clinical issues on the education end, on the talent end. The scheme aims to prepare Taiwan's medical system for the demands of an aged society, as well as make bridges with experts worldwide. It will host international seminars and has invited more than 20 dysphagia experts from Japan and Korea to share their experiences. The team hopes doctors will be enabled to avoid invasive procedures like nasogastric tubes and patients will enjoy great health in older age.